welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're feeling this stormy vibe hair color keep watching the videos to see how i achieve this look this video i'm also going to be dyeing this hair dyeing hair for the first time actually so if i fail i ain't posting this shit no, i'm still posting just i'm going to be dyeing this hair gray <laughs> <Day fire. coughs> so the materials I'll be using I got a Doors hair dye and platinum Hopefully I get like a tad bit bluish color if you know what I mean I kind of wanted that effect but if it doesn't happen I'll just cry As well as the Shimmer and Shine perfume Isn't it so cute and guess what it's not $7 Without further ado let's get into this video so I started off by boiling a pot of hot water on about medium temperature for about 10 minutes. I then found this perfect size basin in which I could put my water, my hair, and all my dyes and everything that I need in. So I went along and did that. I quickly realized that I was going to need a little bit more water, so I went along and I got another pot of warm water this time from the faucet. So I didn't boil this one, but if you want to boil it, you can't. So as I mentioned before, I'm going to be using two bottles of Adore dye, so I'm going to go ahead and place that in the basin and mix that all together. Here's the second bottle. And we're just mixing that all in until all the product is dissolved into the water. I went along and filled up the hair dye bottle with some water so I can get the excess product. So I'm very particular because this is my first time doing like an actual like color like this. So I'm going to be testing out on a little strand of hair. So all I did here was just cut a piece of hair. Not too big of a piece. No, that was a big ass piece. I ain't going to hold you. So I went along and took the little strand of hair and I set it in the basin for about a good five to ten minutes. Just so the color can like appear on the strand of hair. This part is completely optional. I just am very specific about the color that I want. So I'm going to do this just to make sure. I'm very satisfied with the color. So now for the moment of truth. I have my tongs all ready and I'm ready to dive right in. So boom, I messed up right there. Not too happy and so I just dropped it in without even thinking about a logical reason of how to drop it in. But I continue to submerge it to the bottom so that all the dye can get on all the hair. The hair can get completely drenched. Eventually I caught my mistake and I flipped the hair right over to the other side so we can get the actual hair and not just the cap. It's been about five to like seven minutes and now I'm just manipulating with this so I can make sure that every part of the hair got covered with the dye. And I let it sit for another five minutes. So I wait about five minutes and I'm ready to see the finished product. So I start by looking to make sure that I got every section that I needed to cover. And I pretty much did, I was pretty satisfied. I wrung the hair out gently so I can get rid of the excess water and I just placed it at the side. I went along and got another basin of water. So this is the Shimmer Light Shampoo. So I pour this in the basin with water and I stir it up. Reason I did it this way instead of just putting it directly on the hair is because this shampoo has a rich purple color that can possibly stain the hair and that's not what we want. So finally finished dyeing the hair. That was a lot. Here's the finished product. Here's the finished product. I'm very satisfied with it. This is beautiful. I ain't gonna even hold you. I love this. Go ahead and wear. Can't sit with me. This is about to be fire. Oh my, oh my god, bro. 
This is nice. Ooh. Shawty, I'm just trying to love you, you should let you. Let you. Let you.